appreciate that this machine, this platform, produces force. How does it produce force? The answer lies in Newton's second law of motion. In the second law of motion, we are told that the force applied to an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration, or force equals mass times acceleration. I know that sounds complicated, but here's what it really means. If we want to get bigger, stronger, or faster, regardless of the magnitude and for what specific goal, whether sport or daily activities of living, the said principle dictates that we must impose a demand upon the system greater than what we're used to. Specific adaptation to impose demand. In the second law of motion, we're told that there are two primary means that we can use to obtain this particular increase in force through our system. The first being mass. So when we walk into the gym and we pick up a kettlebell, or we pick up a viper, or we pick up a barbell or a dumbbell, we are grabbing more mass. We're adding mass to our mass. So if I'm performing a squat and I have a 10 kilogram kettlebell that I'm using, I now have just added mass, which by definition will increase force that I place through my system that my body has to adapt to. The second is acceleration. So using the same squat example, if I'm standing on a vibration platform and I'm squatting or moving or performing a movement on it, I must realize that the vibration platform leaves me and comes back and hits me between 25 and 50 times per second. Depending upon the settings that I use, the amplitude of the, of the, the move or the drop, that will increase the g-forces into my body, the acceleration forces into my body, between 1.2 and 6 times. So when I'm moving and squatting without any extra mass, just my body weight, on a vibration platform, the acceleration that's generated from the drop and returning to me, I can kick this anywhere from 1.2 to 6 g-forces on his body, and he doesn't even have to move. That's a lot of force going through his system right now. So what does that mean for us? exercise demands and exercise modalities that we have. Hope that helps you. Thank you.